and welcome to a special edition of the Eye of the Warrior for 2002. I'm Aaron Boodle. And I'm Joe Feltz. During this special edition of the Eye of the Warrior, we'll be presenting to you an assortment of various pictures submitted by graduating seniors and also interesting investigative reports with the people who make graduation possible, as well as graduating seniors. Our first interview is with the principal of Wassa West, Mr. Paul Brusky. He was interviewed by... This is Mark Namke. I'm here talking with Mrs. Deppie, who is. Okay, just a second. I'm going to touch it. We need a microphone. In five, four, Hi, this is Mark Nemke. I'm here with Mrs. Depp, who is the head coach for Was West Debate. And uh, Mrs. Depp, what exactly is debate and what do the students part do when they participate at tournaments? Debate is an academic class and it's also uh, a co-curricular class because we debate at weekend tournaments. Mark, uh, you're in debate. You know all the things we do. We research a national debate topic. Students learn speaking skills. You work with a team. You work with a partner. You um, argue and research for an affirmative side or a negative side on that national topic. You uh, write a case and um, Basically, that's what you do. You get into the debate, and you know in advance that you're debating affirmative or negative, and a four-person person varsity or the round and lasts about 65 minutes average, and uh, each person speaks, uh, takes turns, you get cross-examined, you have rebuttals, and then there's a judge in the room who is um, the one who's writing the ballot and makes the final decision for the win. It's an outside activity, so how much work do students actually put into the class outside to prepare for the actual debate? Well, actually, they've never told me how many hours, but I know that the students probably spend maybe five hours minimum a week just on, on one case getting ready for a tournament, and we debate at tournaments just about every weekend, so you can multiply that and however many tournaments they go to, they spend a lot of extra time. We use class time a lot of times, but we use class time just talking about the cases and uh, sharing information, sharing evidence. Um, you hold a position on the WDCA board for debate. What exactly is your position and um, what do you have to do to help out with the tournaments that go on during, in the state? Okay, I'm secretary of uh, WDCA, which is Wisconsin Debate Coaches Association. That's a three-year term, or um, it could be longer. And basically what I do is take minutes at the fall meeting and the spring meeting of the coaches. And then uh, I receive the membership dues, update the membership information, uh, send out other letters that, that um, coaches have need whatever the president needs me to send out and that sort of thing. We've gone to an online um, system more this year. WDCA has its own website. It's WDCA.org. The calendar is there, research links, uh, tournament results, and that sort of thing. So it makes the paperwork a little bit less for me. Okay. Um, the teams at Wasa West, we just held a tournament, qualified for TOC, which is a tournament of champions. How well do you think that the students going to state this year can compete um, as the students that went last year? Well, it's early in the season, so it's always hard to tell, but the history of West debate is that it's very academic and students are always exceptionally prepared by the end of the season. So I would say that they ha have at least as good a chance as the students did last year. Our last year's state um, qualifiers were a team that we put together. The four of them had not actually debated together before, so they didn't have that rhythm established between each other as partners. But they did have the foundation of debate well established and they knew the topic and they had done a lot of research and spent a lot of time working on it so uh, I think that this year's team will have equally as good a chance. I will go back and comment about the TOC and what my responsibility is there. The Wisconsin Debate Coaches Association has a state tournament every year in December and the students who qualify 
are those who have won a first place team award any time during the season. And um, my duties there then just include a secretary taking care of the ballots and um, handing those out, being sure that the ballots are filled out correctly and that those rules are followed. Um, how many varsity, JV, and novice teams do we have this year? Is it a low number of students compared to previous years participating in debate? We're about at the same numbers that we were last year, although I have fewer novice debaters. I have uh, basically two and a half teams. I have six novice debaters this year. Uh, they very possibly will move up to the JV at some t time during the season, depending on how they do. Uh, we have we have uh, two to three JV teams, and we have two to three. Well, let's see, two to three JV and two to three not, uh, varsity teams. And um, once the teams are doing well, and the students debate in. De um, they will change partners from time to time. They don't always debate the same partners. And so as one set of partners does well, I might move them into a JV position. And so they move back and forth a little bit. Well, that about sums it up. And I'd like to thank Mrs. Deppie for her time and wish the debaters uh, good luck on their season this year. Our next interview is with Mrs. Claremore Dix, Department Chair of the Counseling Department here at West. She has some last minute advice for seniors before graduating. She was interviewed by Cale Newton.
Thank you, Kale, for that great report. Because we had such a great response of seniors bringing in pictures, we now have two more slideshows for your viewing pleasure. Josh Grunberg, who interviewed graduating seniors and asked them of their plans for the future, as well as their memories from here at West. What did you think of your Nicole Hurst, Nicole, what did you think of your four years at West? I think that I was light deprived because of the lack of sunlight in the school, but it was alright, I guess. Oh. What are your plans after graduation? I plan to go to North Central Technical College and become a nurse. What do you think is going to be your biggest obstacle in the coming years? I think that getting my bachelor's degree in nursing will be my biggest obstacle. I'm here with Sarah Kanya. Sarah, what did you think of your years at West? Well, I didn't really enjoy them. My last year was a lot better than my first two, and I think I learned a lot of useful things, but I'm definitely happy to be leaving. What are your plans after graduation? I'm going to St. Scholastica in Duluth, Minnesota, where I'm going to start a pre-med program. What do you think is going to be your biggest obstacle in the coming years? Um, I think that going through my eight years of school will be the hardest and sticking with it and being able to graduate and become a doctor. All right, thank you. I'm here with Larry Rufai. Larry, what did you think of your four years at West? Thank you, Josh, for that great report. Well, now we come to the end. We'd like to congratulate the class of 02 and thank you for watching this final edition of the Eye of the Warrior for 2001 and 2002 school year. Well, have a wonderful summer, and catch us again next year. Same warrior time, same warrior channel. <laughs>